guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am bringing you this berry inspired makeup look I thought that was this would be a great look for kind of Christmas parties holiday parties whatever you might have going on so priming my eyes with max 24-hour eye base then I'm going into my Carly by Bell palette I told you guys I wanted to give you a little bit more of a dramatic look using that palette so that's what we're gonna do going in with the lightest shade on the top row I'm taking a Mac 224 brush and I'm actually just covering my entire eyelid with that then I am going in with that middle shade of the top row, again on that same 224 brush, and I am just working this into my crease from outer corner to inner corner. So the first shadow kind of laid down as a base to help my shadows blend, and then again this crease color is also going to be used to help blend out the shadows. This is a pretty simple eye look, but as you can see in the other eye when it's completed, it definitely looks a little bit more complicated, which I think works out for anybody. Um, so then I'm going back into my Carly Bible palette and taking the second color in the top row. This is a beautiful sort of shimmery pink color. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I am just working that with a flat brush all over my lid. So I wanted to bring some cranberry into this look. So I veered away from the palette and I grabbed my cranberry eyeshadow from MAC. I've showed this to you guys in a tutorial before. It's one of my favorite sort of pinky berry colored shadows. And I just felt like nothing in the palette was gonna give me that true cranberry look. So I kind of added this in addition to the palette. I feel like this is one single shadow that is a great addition to the Carly Bible palette. So I just kind of packed that on. I packed that almost on like three quarters of my eyelid and then blended it out with a 224 brush. Just gave it a nice once over to make sure that everything was blended. And I forgot to show you the color that I'm using, but I'm using the darkest color in the top row of the Carly Bible palette. So the top row is more of those like mauve colors. So I felt like this darker color was what I wanted to use to smoke up the eye look, if you will. So I'm taking that on a 239 brush from MAC and just really packing that color on the outer V of my eye. So I took that cranberry color in like three quarters of the way on my lid because I knew I would be packing this darker color on the outer part of my lid. So it gives this beautiful sort of gradient effect from that darker berry to the cranberry into the lighter pink on the inner corner. Then I'm going in with Max Black Track on my Sigma angled brush and I am starting to just do my wing. I've told you guys before that I am not the best at doing eyeliner on camera but I feel like I did um, a decent job at this on this tutorial but yeah I'm just working I kind of like come from my outer corner of my eye like that and kind of draw the bottom of the wing flip my brush around and then just kind of connect it um, to the top of my lid. I feel like I kind of have my wing done as you can see I'm kind of like turning my head tilting my head back that's a great way to kind of see I have my mirror down there and it's angled up it's a great way to see whether your eyeliner is even or not then I'm just taking a flat brush and I took a little bit of remover and I'm just running that along the bottom of my wing to give it that really, really nice sharp effect. A lot of people think you have to like put your wing on perfectly, but really you just kind of got to get it on there and then you can clean it up, which makes it way easier. And then since this was a little bit more of a dramatic look, I wanted to go in with some lashes. So I'm using Max number 36 lashes, I believe. I'm putting my glue on there and the tip is to let it dry. I know I've said that before, let it almost dry. Um, you wanna blow on it, give it like 30 to 45 seconds so the glue gets tacky and then it's much easier to apply your lashes. So just throwing that on and adhering the center of the lash first, then kind of going in and attaching the edges of the lash. Okay, so now our lashes are on. I don't know why I make that obnoxious face. While that glue dries, I'm gonna move on to my face. Going into my ambient lighting powder 
palette edit I don't even know what the extensive name is I'm actually going in with that same bronzer and same blush that I did in my last tutorial so I did a whole talk through about how awesome these were so I will link that down below if you're interested in knowing what I think of the ambient lighting palette and then I'm going in with Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics because, girl, I wanted that highlight to, well, pop. <laughs> then I'm actually going to do a little baking. So I did this for the first time the other day, and I was pleasantly surprised by it. I don't normally do my makeup that dramatic. I'm much more of a natural kind of girl when it comes to my makeup, but... I was impressed, so letting that sit, going into my under eye. On a pencil brush, I'm just taking that color Cranberry from MAC again, and I am just running this from inner to outer corner, just coating that lash line with Cranberry. Then going in with that second to lightest color on the top row of the Carly Bybel palette, and I'm gonna use that to highlight. That was the same color that we went in on our lid, just throwing that under my brow bone on my inner tear duct. Then I'm just doing a once over with some mascara to help blend my natural lashes to the fake ones. And then I am just coating my bottom lashes with my favorite bottom lash mascara, which is Extended Play by MAC. Love that. Then going in with the color Risqué, which is just kind of like a nude skin toned pencil from MAC. It is a technical liner. I love it because it twists up. I don't have to sharpen it, which is great. And that's just making the eye pop. Then going in with the star of the show. So this is Max D for Danger lipstick. This was kind of what I based the entire look around. I've been so inspired by that sort of like berry, pinky ready color this season. So when I put this lipstick on the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do a tutorial based around this entire lipstick. So that was what inspired me. So throwing that on, then going in with um, a little bit of liner just to clean it up, going in with the color Beat, which is pretty much the exact same color as the lipstick. Beat is also from MAC, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And after that, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed my very, very Christmas look. I know, so corny, but I thought it was cute. So I hope you guys are enjoying your week. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.